all right y'all wait focus now nah, what's going on we back with another freaking video now the day y'all are watching this video is gonna be the day that i released the last video installing the coilovers so if you haven't watched me install the coilovers go right up there you know what i said that's the thumbnail thumbnail so fire man so we actually are starting new seats now i was supposed to do this a while ago a good friend of mine has some seats and i um just passed up on the offer i'm like man you know i sat in on home with the dooms i wanted a certain style of seats i wanted the srt design seats to make this car like a the srt design we didn't end up getting those those are end up getting sold then i had like another good old chance to get some more seats me not being smart video wise everything like that missed out on them too but right now we have brand new seats inside the car so I believe this came out like a 2014 300. They all black seats. This will be a good upgrade to the car. I know y'all tired of seeing the gray seats. You know what I said? Piece by piece, day by day, we are finishing up the Chrysler 300 seat with mods on top of mods. Now, you know what I'm saying? I told y'all we applying heavy pressure. And this mod was the mod that I had to do. I wanted to do this mod so long ago, but it is not timing is everything i was at a good point in my life you know what i'm saying where your boy can actually spend a little bit extra more money that's why i'm dumping out the mods you know what i'm saying and um i got a good deal on them so why not so we're on the way right now to pack a punch performance right on the screen y'all know who he is he does everything in my car like you know what i'm saying i don't let a lot of people touch my car you know what i'm saying he one of the ones that actually touch my car and do pretty much everything now i'm on the freeway going like 65 because my driving is terrible because i got control arms and a rear put on i got coilovers putting on everything like that put on now if you're doing any type of suspension work you got to get a wood alignment so i didn't get a wood alignment yet i've been busy doing other things so we're gonna get that probably in this video and then we got an oil change too I'm, I'm a little bit over you know what i'm saying but i had to make Based with content. So y'all, it is 5:38 on the way to Packer Point Performance. Look at the freaking traffic. This is like crazy, man. It's I don't know if it's an accident up there, but the damn traffic is so crazy. And I'm just in here in the car, stuffed with seats. I took a look at the seats, and the seats are in a pretty good um, condition, honestly. So for the price I pay, you honestly cannot beat that. Look at this person. Just trying to get over, make me crash my car. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, come on now, man. Anyways, like, I am literally stuffed in the car. But, I don't know, I just want to give y'all a little drive update. Oh, my God, like I was upstairs, you know what I'm saying? Talking that, talking to that guy upstairs. God damn. But, yeah, it's something going on. So, that was the way I was supposed to be taking, but I just got a detour on the map just take the street and i'd rather take the streets and be in like moving traffic than being stuck you know what i'm saying your boy do not like being in like stuck traffic or nothing like that that's why i, I love the uh city of atlanta but atlanta is it's crazy with driving so man we'll be there in one second it'll be like 10 minutes for me it's gonna be like half a second for y'all but nonetheless y'all be all right you know what I'm saying? And just like that, y'all, we made it into the Pack a Punch Performance Garage, man. So we just made it in here. Ah! Check this out, y'all. We had just got here. Uh, we got the seats out the truck now. The seats are in very good condition. They just need a good wipe down. So we're gonna wipe everything down with like soap and water because you could tell they've been sitting a little bit, but overall, no rips or tears. We got both of the headrests right there for them. And then uh the back seat of this is already pretty much up. So the back is gonna be the easy part. Only part we're gonna probably have a little trouble with is getting the front wired up with power so my guy loudy i think you know what he's doing he said he know what he's doing so we're gonna give it a shot and see what we can do we'll have to splice some wires and connect some stuff with some electrical tape and i'm sure you know so this video might be a little interesting uh in the previous videos i was telling y'all actually last video i told y'all 
the chrome delete got to be refixed. So it's kind of all right. It's peeling a little bit over here. But while I was doing that little footage, y'all just see my guy, Loudy. You know what I'm saying? He see that, right? So he just fixed the other side. And the other side look way better. So I'm guessing we're going to do this side right here too. Just to touch it up. And um, I don't know. Get the car in the best shape as possible. But what time is it right now? It's almost time for us. To, ooh, it actually is. So, we're actually just going to do it right here. Ooh, you know, y'all can't see all that. But, we're going to drop the video while we're recording. So, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Video is now up. And that's grinding right there. You know what I'm saying? It just feels so good to be back in the YouTube bag and pushing out content still while we can with this. You know. So, let me update y'all real quick. We got the passenger seats out. Boom. Now we're working on the driver's seat. We just got the car in detail last video, so it look all right, you know what I'm saying? It's just the cracks and curvaces dude couldn't get to, but driver's seat finna come out and did. So we figured the thumbnail picture took it in one second. That's what made y'all click this video on pretty much sore. So old seats, parsley over here. New seats gonna be all set up on this All side. right, y'all, so we got the before set, then we got the after set, so, um, I just made a little list that on Facebook Marketplace. If you go in there and type in Cross 300 seats, these will pop up for a very good price. So these are get, about to get put in very soon. Wow, the camera's down. But we got another charger and another battery inside the car. So, this out, gang. We got the bottom part, we got the back part. Now, you know, I'd have had to test it out already. Let me turn this down. So I'd have had to test it out already. Now, honestly, they feel. Like way more, like firmer in a good way. Like these are definitely lightness terrible. These are definitely better than other ones. They feel like way more cozier. So uh, I forgot what he's doing out there. So back is in. Got some little change right there. I don't even mind that. So all we gotta do is figure out how we gonna wire them up because uh, the wire harness is definitely different. Like them connectors. So once we get them, we're going to splice them up and try to do what we can do. Hopefully we can do everything like this. Now these seats are heated and cooled. My car does have heated seats, so I don't know if the heater will work, but definitely the cool won't work because I don't have the option to turn that on. So, But y'all, besides that, we are making progress really here. I'm just chilling. I was trying to find the wiring diagram for the... Um, the seat so I can know what is power and what is what so we could just know and not have to guess but we couldn't find that so next step is I don't know we're gonna have to just you know what I'm saying go with God and just see what he can help us find so basically a long story short we're fucked <laughs> so we need the um the wiring harness for the seats itself so we can splice and dice the wires and everything like that we don't have that. I reached out to the guy I got these seats from to see if he still got the wiring harness for him. But uh, it might be over. I ain't gonna lie to you. So I don't know what we can do. Now, the, my my seat is kind of positioned nice. So even if we don't get wired to him, power to him, it'll be all right for me. But like the other seat, it's kind of like leaning forward. So I don't know what we're gonna be able to do for that. So. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to update y'all in the next clip and let y'all know what we came up with. But besides that, I don't know what else to tell y'all. So, we're trying to make this work out of nothing. Two hours later. So, y'all, check this out. We got another update. Now, we got all the seats inside the car and all the seats are positioned back to the best we can. Now, I did talk to the guy who I got the seats from. He do got the wiring harness. So, I'm going to go pick up the wiring harness tomorrow and then, um... I'll come back over here one of these days to try to get the uh, seats wired up with power. So after that, my guy Loudy said it should be able to um, to work. So y'all going to have to just stay tuned. We're going to have to figure this out. We're going to take some of these seats home and then we're going to leave the rest here for a second. The next day. So I guess this is how we're going to start the video back off with today, man. Hazard lights are on. I'm driving like 23 miles an hour. It's flat tire outside i think i didn't either crack the room again well i cracked that room on that side so either i cracked the room or i got like 
something inside the tire because I didn't deal with this problem for like the last three or four days and this shit is getting very irritated. So I guess I'm gonna buy a new tire tomorrow for this video or get it patched or fix the cracked room. Something is going on because this shit is very much irritating. I ain't even gonna say it, but look, three pounds of air, it is raining. And I went to the first gas station and they just told me the air pump ain't working. I gotta go somewhere else now. So I guess I'm gonna tune back in and let y'all know what's going on, man. All right, gang, check this out. I know I showed y'all the clip of me earlier going through all that type of stuff, but I'm so unsure where I left off at from the other day. So we ended up getting the wire harness. I don't know if I told y'all that. So we are at Pack Punch Performance right now. I see the big 5.7 is dirty, man. Michigan weather will be hot one day, rain the next day. It's still supposed to get some snow tomorrow, but I don't believe it, honestly, but we might get a chance of some rain. So... We got everything pretty much kind of sorted out with the whole wiring. So we basically had to, um, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't even lie to y'all, but my guy Lottie is a, is a magician. So we basically we basically used a connector and hot wired. And I don't know what we did. We put power with ground and one plus two is, 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 is three. It works. It worked, you know what I'm saying? So, that's all I got to know. Um, if y'all in the market for this, I wouldn't recommend asking him because I, I don't know if he's going to do it. I don't think he wouldn't do it for me. <laughs> it's different. It's me, though. So, passenger seat is done. Uh, we're going to the driver's seat. I'm just going to kind of get inside the driver's seat and kind of try to show y'all how we pretty much did it. So, um, those are the factory wires. And we basically just tapped into it. If you're an electrical guy, you pretty much know exactly what we did. So we took the old connector piece, tapped that into that, boom, 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 with million wires you know are not going to need, basically. So all we're going to need is the seat power and for the um, seat belt indicator. I do have a seat belt light on just because the seat belt is not hooked up electronically. But I think that's pretty much So just as simple as that, we got everything done. I ain't going to give me a... A little fade. It's all right, you know what I'm saying? A couple days ago. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to give y'all another update in a second. We're going to get everything working and fixed. But the seat does have some power. It is moving, as y'all can see. So, I honestly thought, like, what if we couldn't get power to it or anything like that, you know? But everything working out pretty good so far. So, I'm going to give y'all another update. We're going to get to the driver's side and then... Let's see what's going on with that one. A few minutes later. All right, y'all. So I was going to show y'all, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of sauce on how to get everything wired up. But I can't, you know what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> you know, you got you to gotta pay the business that do the business, you know what I'm saying? So if y'all want anything done like this, pack one performance on the screen. We got everything set. It's going in the car right now. I was going to give y'all a little sneaky peek at, like, the wire management. What if he show them? And I'll put it in black and white. Show all the stuff I cut off. We cut off. Now, what if I show them in black and white? Just, just, <laughs> just so they can just yeah. see the, you know what I'm saying, how everything is, like, wrapped yeah. up. But, boom, we in black and white. Look at the job of that, y'all. Boom, everything is That's under there, cool. zip tied up, everything That's like from that. This to that. Yeah, so everything had to get cut from there. So, black and white. Y'all see it. All right, y'all, check this out. I literally been up since like 6.20 a.m. Because I had to go to work, you know what I'm saying? Get off work, come straight to here. But look what time it is. Man, so your boy is finna get ready to leave here. I'm so tired. We got everything hooked up. Everything is powered, put back into place. And I'm going to just catch y'all tomorrow. And, um... I don't know. I got to get some rest, man. So, y'all stay tuned. I'll see y'all tomorrow. The next day. I promise y'all, this car is literally going to be the death for me. Like, I swear to God. Check this out. It's a new, brand new day. Y'all seen me last night. I was so tired. So, I don't even know what I was saying for. I'm pretty sure I was rambling. Let's see if the light. The lighting is kind of bad. But, right now, we're on the way to get the oil change in the car. Because we are about... 400 miles over that's not too too bad i do get 
the oil that's in like the jugs with the seal i don't get none of that you know uh recycled oil as what a lot of people call it and um it is like high mileage oil you know what i'm saying i put the best of the best inside the car you want your car to perform the best you put the best of the best in there so we're gonna go up there right now get the um oil change and then i keep having this damn tire air leak i'm about to go to this tire shop and see what's going on with that if i got to buy a tire today it is what it is i gotta do what i gotta do the lightning is so freaking bad man like the tree is so wet and gloomy outside but if y'all see that little package back there whoo ain't gonna show too much but the grill is in that's the grill in a box we ain't gonna put that on until the next video so y'all gonna know y'all gonna get that in that video and then we're gonna figure out some other stuff so i'm trying to do like one video a week this is a simple fact that I just been working, working real, real hard. So, um, yeah, so we, we hand up here right now, and then we'll get this oil change for the car. And I'll see y'all after this, man. A few minutes later. So, your oil is done now. We gotta just uh, pay for it and then head to the freaking um, tire place. Hopefully, I just got like a little tire leak and hopefully like the rim is not bent or nothing like that because that's going to be some extra money and then that's probably not something we're going to be able to get done today. So, you put, uh, so hopefully we have to just figure that out y'all but it is what it is. Life for you problems is go ahead and get it fixed. You know, can't make a big deal out of everything. Take one day at a time and just get through everything like that. But um, we're gonna have to end this video today. We ain't gonna end it right now. We're gonna go to the tire shop, see if they say if I gotta get a new tire, I'm gonna get the new tire. Yeah, like and then, huh? What year? Uh, uh, seven. Okay. And then uh, after that, I don't know. Um, but it is snowing. So it went from raining, it went from hot, raining and snowing in the last three days, which is crazy as hell. Michigan, y'all gotta get together. I don't know if it's the government playing with the weather. Y'all press the buttons inside the little control room or what. But snow in April is crazy. One more time. All right, 91. She, she's getting up there. For y'all don't know, I bought the car with like 68,000 miles. So in the last three years, I, I done put some little miles on it, but she's still running strong, still running great, and everything like that, you know. Big V8. Yo, too hot. Damn, B, you blessed up. All right, gang, so I just went in there and they got the tire. Hopefully it's just the tire, man. So I told her I'm not sure if I need a tire or like the rim cracked or whatever is going on. So he told me he's gonna open up this garage and then we're gonna pull in here. He's gonna give it a check for me. So, man, I, I hopefully everything will be all right. So I'm gonna tune back in with y'all in one second when we find out what's going on. It is dark as shit up here. So check this out, y'all. I just um, got the wheel off. Well, they just got the wheel off. And we just took it off and seen I do have a cracked rim. So I don't know. I can't really show y'all too good, but it's a crack like right there in the inside. Oh, actually right here. Yeah, right. so we are gonna need to get the rim fixed. And it's not the tire. If they can't do it today, I do know somebody else that can do it today. Just man, I already got the other place in my, I, this is my second time cracking a room, man. The first time it was the passenger and now this time it's the driver, both in the front. So, <sighs> I don't know, it's, it's a part of life, man. It is what it is. Two hours later. So y'all just pulled up the Uncle Sam tire. Now they're gonna take the tire off, look at the crack, and um, fix it. Hopefully, so they said they can fix it. Then we're gonna go from there. Then uh, what time is it? It's 5:39. Bell Tire closed at eight, so I gotta make it to Bell Tire too to get the wood alignment because the car is driving so crazy, man. And I ain't gonna lie, it's been a long ass stressful day. But anyways, y'all, y'all see the front coil over under there tucking pretty good. She. So if y'all haven't seen the last video, go back to the last video we get started. Adjustable coilovers for the whole side, front side, the back side. And I ain't gonna lie, the, the look of it being lowered is way better than factory, like it's hype. So go check that video out. Thumbnail is gonna be up here somewhere so y'all gonna know exactly what video, but it's the last video we just shot. So 
tell y'all this, Bell Tire ended up telling me some BS, so I'm not even going to Bell Tire. I'm pulling up to this new mechanic, or the guy who did my coilovers. He already was touching my suspension, so it only made sense for him to like touch the rest of the car. Just, you know what I'm saying? Suspension wise, that's how you keep everything like under one person. You don't let multiple people touch your cars. You know what I'm saying? It's just in case ever, anything ever go wrong, you know who's touching your car and everything like that. But we pulling up here right now. He gonna get me the alignment. Then we should be all set to close this video out. Hopefully I can get this video up for y'all today because yesterday I ended up waiting too late to get everything done. Try to see the black seats in there. Sheesh, looking real, real good. Y'all know that's the new grill because right now we grillless. But I'm finna shoot in here, give him the keys. So boom, my man just got me together, y'all. So this is gonna be the first drive, I guess, with it being a line. It's cold as hell outside. We got, it's supposed to be April showers, May flowers. You got April snow in May. I don't know, flowers ain't gonna grow. <laughs> but he said everything is pretty much good. The toe and the, uh, my, my front line was on, because when I hit like 80 miles per hour on the freeway, it does do a little shake. So that was off, he got that fixed too. So now I guess we're going to just test it out and everything like that and just see what's going on. So um, everything should be straight. So maybe what time is it? 9.49 um, April 18th. I don't know if y'all can get this video today. I'm going to try to see if I can try this video today because I haven't edited nothing so far. So if I can edit, upload, and still get my thumbnail back from my um, thumbnail editor, it'll be crazy because my thumbnail editor... Sometimes he quit fast and in a hurry, sometimes he ain't. So, if you're a thumbnail editor, please let me know. Um, DM me on Instagram. I have an Instagram right here on the screen. Also, I'm going to leave my, uh, my email. If you have any uncopyrighted beats you want me to put in my video for background music or montage or like clips or cinematics, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Help me, boy, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I need new cinematic um music everything like that but uh, we are gonna go on our way home and then um i don't know we gotta figure out what else we gotta figure out what else we gonna get done today pretty much nothing honestly i didn't spend enough you know what i'm saying oh i do need to get new tires but that won't be in this video i promise y'all you know what i'm saying that's gonna be for show the content for next video so next video we're gonna probably get new tires I'm gonna probably get new tires today, but y'all won't see that. I'm gonna get new tires, and then we're gonna put the grill on. Then, um, I don't know. I'm not gonna let y'all hear the seatbelt noise, though, so I'm gonna tune in with y'all when I get home and everything like that. So, we'll see y'all in a second. Hey, I don't need to be the Benjamin. Alright, y'all, so let me tell y'all this so far. So, um, I've been probably drove the car for like a mile or two already, so, um, Right off bat, I did a little pull. My car used to shake at like 80 miles per hour. So I can tell that the shaking is gone. I got to like 85, shaking was gone, everything like that. It still feel a little loose because I am on snow tires and um, the tread on them are so freaking bad because my car used to have so much bad camera. Because if y'all remember the last video, I spent a lot of money getting the stuff in the back of the car fixed because I couldn't put coilovers on a car with bad suspension it just wouldn't be right and when it sit my right with me knowing something in the back of my car is broken and i'm driving so everything is in the front and in the back is good all the suspension is good y'all if y'all know these cars have the worst suspension in the world all first gen chalice chargers 300s anything first gen by my part so um let me get over so everything is that everything under there is pretty much fixed out fixed and the guy told me everything under here is pretty much good so i had had two people tell me that everything is good so i know everything is good and everything like that but um yeah she's like driving like pretty good i need some gas but i gotta go home and um try to edit most of this for y'all and then i'm gonna pop back out and get some tires man hopefully i can find some nice little tires that's not like too expensive we have done a lot in this video we have spent a lot of freaking money you know what i'm saying so yeah um what else i gotta say so um man i know i was telling y'all that we're gonna get the new car 
um, in like the next 70 days, but it's actually going to be way, way faster. See, the plan was to get the new car for my birthday, but I'm tired of waiting. This car has been around for three years. Okay, you're not going to let me over. Do not vlog and drive, but this car has been around for three years, so I think it's just time to put the pedal to the metal, and we are just going to expedite everything and do everything faster. So it's going to honestly be within like i'm not even gonna tell y'all but it's like very 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 soon so i've been talking to my bank i got a very nice bank a couple weeks this car is going to put up for sale so if anybody wants this car it's going to be on facebook marketplace i'm going to make another video totally separate from the next video about just everything that's done to the car once again and just making a whole selling video so that's going to be coming real real soon but man let's get like it's, it's a shoot for 60 likes you know what i'm saying y'all gotta step the like game up step the comment game up but i haven't really been replying to my comments because it'd be so much of y'all and it kind of be like draining but i'm about to reply to every comment so if you leave a comment i'm gonna like it i'm gonna comment i'm doing everything like that so let's get up to 60 likes on this video and then um pretty much yeah like comment subscribe it's your boy ebay shot i'm out hope this was a good video for y'all and i hope it don't seem like it was like too like um like i was skipping like from here to here to here to here but man when when you work in a job and then do youtube on the side like right after you get off work it can get a little bit hectic but i love y'all so freaking much man man stay positive stay blessed stay humble man god got y'all you know what i'm saying if they ain't got y'all, I hey, got y'all. But I love y'all so much. This eBay shot it. I'm out. Y'all hey, have a nice safe right. day. I love y'all. I ain't into the cap and let's keep it real. He could have held us man down. He took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live I got the news from my sister, gave me chills Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill He popped these hands and I dog itching to do a drill